It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see teams who have been division rivals since 1961. It's the Chicago Bears and the Dallas Cowboys. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. DA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State and the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Here's Cairo Santos now, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Now we'll see what the right arm of Dak Prescott has in store as the Dallas Cowboys offense sets up shop. And when you watch him play, everything just looks like it comes so naturally to him. When he's dialed in and finds that zone, passes are crisp. He sees the field really well and he takes charge as the leader of this offense. They run here with Rico Dowdle, and they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block if you're an offensive lineman. Nice early burst, nice gain, too. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Now here's a handoff out of the gun, and they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he tries to keep the legs churning, but he's going to be stopped behind the line. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, Maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Prescott. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. So the completion good for six yards. And it's third and four now. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Throwing, Prescott. And it is caught. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. There again is Cooks, complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. Love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. 
give them a little something one way, take it the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside, then break it inside. Really well run route. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. Prescott looks to throw on first. He'll get this to his running back down. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and it'll be second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Prescott to throw it. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. So play number 10 now coming. It's been a long opening drive, but this is third down. Looking to throw. Prescott. There's Tobert. He's got him. And he will have a Cowboys first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. Well, he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Prescott from the gun. Now that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Well, partner, guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. 13th play now on the opening drive. Will this be the lucky one? It's third and goal. Now Prescott. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. They'll make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively. And not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're, they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. Well, they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. And the Cowboys are going to bring on Brian Anger to punt on fourth down. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And they will be let out by their rookie quarterback. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27th. That run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. In motion right comes Allen. 
And they'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead, a head off up the middle. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. They'll try and run here with Swift. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That burst, good for 20 and a first down. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side, the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. First down, and they go with Swift again. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. Williams throw there complete to Allen. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 29-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Now a play fake here on first down. Scott and down inside the 15 shy of the 10 another nice gain that's now 30 yards between those last two plays and this is exactly the kind of drive you're hoping for out of the gates they're mixing the run and the pass well keeping this defense off balance early and they're on the march here with another first down here's Williams on first and 10 and did he get the feet down yes touchdown Keenan Allen an 11-yard touchdown. And the Bears will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Santos with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. the touchdown here Santos to kick this one away Cavante Turpin now to return and able to get this across the 20 but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys and they had a long drive going last time but it stalled out but still maybe something positive to carry forward from that last drop. Well, a few different things that you carry forward. Number one, as you noted, they were moving it pretty well, so that gives them a lot of confidence. The second part is keep your defense off the field. Mm -hmm. gives them a chance to rest up a little bit. And last but not least, uh -oh. you've taken a good look at what you've done on offense, noted where the weaknesses are, and you know when you want to come back to them. Like when you're organized with your points. Well Point done. A, B, and C. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 
14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme, when you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole and just go, sometimes a thing of beauty. Prescott with a throw caught by Lamb. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Options galore here. Second and a few inches. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. First down, Prescott. It's caught. Tolbert. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Let's go, man. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 36. They'll try and run this one right up the gun. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. After one, seven-nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. Now a second and six, as they've got it as we resume action. To throw is Prescott. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Cavante Turpin, 32 yards. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from evening this one up. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They manage to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. Aubrey good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. So this drive spans seven plays, and it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Now Herbert to start the drive. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for them. Show them that you're supposed to get the football. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Looking to throw, Williams. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Demarcus Lawrence 
He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Slot man moves right. On second down, Swift. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Back to throw. Williams will try and set up the screen to Swift. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. And it's a 15-yard pickup, but it'll lead to a fourth down. I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker that the defense almost relaxed and said, we got this covered. And then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch. And now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. And out now come the Cowboys. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why? Well, I wouldn't it. change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And they're gonna get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 52 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Well, it's kind of fitting. A couple days ago when we met with him, I said, what is it about your running game that's so effective? He said, I like to tag myself as elusive. He was pretty elusive right there. And his teammates appreciate that because they know they don't have to hold their blocks for very long. As one of them told us, if I just breathe some bad breath on the guy in front of me, that's all I need to do, and he's gone. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. No receivers open downfield, so instead of forcing the ball to the sideline, He's going to throw this one down to Fort Worth. He'd rather have the incompletion than the turnover. The Cowboys on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and eight. Now Prescott. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Now they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're usually going to pick up a holding call. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Montez Sweat, his second sack of the night. Third and long defense with no fear they brought the pressure. Zero fear at all. That means they feel really good about the guys we're going to cover. But the biggest one is they think their pressure will get there before he has a chance to find an open receiver. On to punt now. Anger as he boots this one away. On oh, the return is Jones. It'll be a 47-yard punt with a net of 40 following a 7-yard return. And the Bears take over. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. 
They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. So from the 37, here's second and three. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Could be some contact going on. Heavy set out there on third and one. They run out of the gun with Swift. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Sometimes in the run game, you can make the argument the quickness beats size. And how about the example right here? The fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. This will be fielded at the 17. It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt, and now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Finding Tolbert here over the middle. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Prescott now. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. First down throw for Prescott. Short pass taken in by Schoonmaker. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A big play that time on the catch of it, and it's going to yield a new set of downs. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 26-yard line. Here's Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Ferguson. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. It's a nice zone breaker right there. Take the tight end, move him out to the slot. Then have him run a corner route versus the zone coverage, which means he's going to be behind the, the, the shallow coverage and ahead of the deep coverage, put the ball right on him. They run here with Dowdle. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. 
It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. I like the call. Inside the red zone, running the toss. Why? They want to get to the edges. They want to see if guys who don't normally make a lot of tackles are willing to actually do that. That usually means the guy's in the cornerback position. They'll try again. And he'll be stopped up short as the tackle is made at about the three. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. And if you're going to throw it, something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. And not going to be able to push this forward. He runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage. What a stand so far defensively. And now that's going to bring up a fourth and goal. Well, let's see what they do. They're knocking on the door here in the second quarter. And you know what you look at on your play sheet? Your two-point conversion plays. Because you've drawn up a number of them in today's football. You don't just have one or two for the game. You have more like six or seven. Which one do you like here? Because that's a set. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Kevontae Turpin with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys' decision to go for it pays off with six points. So that, Charles, his second touchdown of the ball game. He had the more standard receiving touchdown earlier. This time he finds the end zone in the run game. Yeah, it's almost as if he said, well, that's how I normally do it. That's almost boring. Give me another opportunity. This time I'll use my legs only and get into the end zone. Well, the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Now Williams on first down. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. Off the play fake. Williams. And he'll find Everett there. Complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. We've hit the two minute mark in the second quarter, 14 to seven. Here now, second and four. They'll look to throw again. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. That one, a first down pickup of eight. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. 
And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 25 yards that time. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. Back to throw again. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one, closed quickly, and helped force the incompletion. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Looking to throw. Williams. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And the Bears are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Here's Swift. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. So that run gets them about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. Second and goal from inside the five. Back to throw. Williams. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. No. Trying to defend the out route there. Got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. Williams now operating from the gun. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Tyler Scott as the first half is winding down. And the Bears have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. I don't think it's any state secret to know what they were saying before the start of this drive. Let's go and punch one in the end zone and go into the halftime feeling a heck of a lot better about ourselves. Let's go get this done. Yeah, tie things up, and then you get a brand-new ball game. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll also wind up being the final play of this first half. 
So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? And a short pick up to about the 27 second down. Brandon, you're a big lover of music. How about what you just saw there? This is what I call playing the piano for a defensive lineman, the ability to move laterally up and down the line of scrimmage. How about the way he just flowed and got to the outside part of the field and made that play? They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Looking to throw, Williams. And he will go down, a Cowboys sack. Drop for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football. It led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Here comes the Bears punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50, first and 10. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 right at the 50 yard line. A running play, it's Dowdle. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're gonna smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw taken in there by Cooks. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, minicamp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An outcut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. And that's complete downfield to Cooks. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down.
Prescott to throw it. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Kevontae Turpin, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. So this game tied at the half, but we are tied no more. A touchdown there on the opening sequence of this third quarter. And what a great drive put together by their offensive coordinator. He had a plan, and they executed it almost to perfection, coming right out of the locker room. Now they're feeling good about their chances here in the second half. Aubrey good with a PAT. And the lead is now 21-14. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now a toss for Swift left side. Gets around him. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 76 yards on the ground here for Swift. And he's got a first down as well. A nice toss play there to the left. More than enough room to move the chains. And you know what I love about that play as a broadcaster? Seeing the big guys move. Seeing them get upfield and take out defenders. You know what I hated as a defensive back? What? That exact same <laughs> thing. Seeing those linemen coming downfield, getting ready to blot out the sun. This is Swift on the counter. And this time they were waiting for it as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. And the tackle for loss goes to Eric Kendricks. Partner, one thing I was lousy at growing up, track and field. I could never anticipate the start before a race, but how about that backer? He figured it out, jumped the count, and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw. Williams. And he's caught. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. This is caught. Touchdown. Cole Komet 
29 yards. And the Bears are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Certainly there are good things about quick strike offenses that score fast, but a long drive can also work to your advantage as well. In so many ways, Brandon, because number one, you get them tired, but the big one is mentally. They can't figure out how to slow you down, how to get off the field, how to get the ball back. They go to the bench wondering, what are we going to do next time in order to stop those guys? Now the point after try for Santos. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it was all capped off by Cole Komet with a touchdown catch. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Possession of the football going back to the Cowboys. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. First carry for their fullback. And he'll be taken down here at about the 23-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Now that's the defense that they were looking for, being able to get extra bodies to the point of attack to deal with the big guy carrying the ball. You really don't want to be in a position where it's a one-on-one -on -one tackle with him. Ball at the 23, second and eight. Prescott. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Here's Prescott. Knocked away and incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. Here's Brian Anger now. As he's on to punt for Dallas. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Bears offense ready to get going again. And the momentum just continuing to build and build for them. They had the touchdown, their last drive to tie the game. Now their defense does its job, and Charles, all of a sudden, they've got a chance to capture the lead here. And we're seeing a really nice exhibition of what coaches love to call complimentary football. Offense gets a tie, defense does its job, gets the ball right back, and their teammates now have momentum. What a nice job they're doing, all doing it together. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. I think the defenders have to feel pretty good, even though the ball was tipped in the air and could have become a big play for the offense. They actually won one because the guy flinging it today, he's having quite the performance. A couple of touchdown passes, almost threw his first interception, but he's throwing it so well, I think Lady Luck was on his side. Swift gonna try up the middle. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. When the 4-3 defense is functioning really well, you know who stays what we call clean and no one gets to him? The guy playing the middle linebacker position, the guy we call Mike. That means the defensive front is eating up all the blocks and just let him go to the football and make a play. Williams to throw on third down. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. 
The safety blitz stays to perfection that time as they sack him for a loss of six. Oh, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. So a change of possession here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Second down, Prescott. It's caught left side by Cooks. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. To throw is Prescott. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down, and he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it, and were able to keep the drive moving. On first and ten, Prescott going right back to Ferguson and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Twelve more yards for him there. It's a first down. They'll throw again. Prescott. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Everything looked right on that play except the conclusion. He dropped it, an in route, going into a little bit of traffic. Maybe in the back of his mind, he was wondering where the hit was going to come from. Second and 10. Now Prescott. That's into the hands of Tober. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Throwing, Prescott. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Montez Sweat bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Here's a give up the middle, and he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. So on the heels of the sack, they knock him backwards in the running game. So now it's up to the offense coordinator talking directly into the helmet of his quarterback to instill a little bit of confidence here. 
Call the play with authority. Call with confidence and let him know this one is the winner. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Four yards on the pick up there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This from 54 yards away. And this one is right down Broadway. And with it, they'll take the lead at 24-21. That was perfect. From distance, he steps up, knocks it right down Main Street. And Main Street's celebrating right now with him, aren't they? I love the mechanics of the whole thing. Snap, hold, everything was right on target, and the blocking was perfect. And he executed so, so well. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. Valus Jones now from his end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Chicago offense set to get started. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled-out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well... I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. And we've got movement. I think this is against the Bears here. Let's find out. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. He's going to try and do this himself. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Here's Williams from the gun on third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That good for 19 and a first down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. 
Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Jalen Tolbert to target that time, but it'll be second down. Now Prescott. Pass complete to Tolbert on the crossing run. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 43. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 43. Off the play fake, Prescott. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. And when you're in a one-score game in the second half, now's not the time to force the football into places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now a handoff running through the middle. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying it around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around <laughs> campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 22-yard line. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. Prescott looks to throw on first. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. And the Bears are right back in this football game. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he's going to lose yardage here back at the eight. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. I really like what he did there because he took his practice work and converted it into game action because he used his hands, got off the block, worked laterally and stayed to the outside, and finished off the runner for a loss. They'll send a receiver in motion left. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. And he's just going to run right into that big old defensive end. And that play going nowhere. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses. And this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. Williams, a little short pass. This is Everett. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there, and they rallied and made the tackle. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. Just a 30-yard punt that time. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Yeah. 
So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On the run, it's Dowder. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Here's a second and eight. Here's Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The ball was tipped and fell incomplete, but it was tipped up in the air. So the guys on defense, they had to feel like that was a big opportunity, and it was missed. They needed a play to help turn things around a little bit. Ball's in the air. Can they rally to it and get it? On that play, they weren't able to. They'll take the ball batted away, but boy, they missed a big chance there. Prescott. Balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through, and that will double their lead as it's up to six. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. The Bears now ready to take over again. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Now Williams throwing to start the drive. And now this is intercepted, my goodness. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there, exactly as you described, an interception. the interception. Here's Prescott. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And the Bears are right back in this football game. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. The interception sets them up with an opportunity to erase this fourth quarter deficit. Now this series could very well determine our outcome. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. 
going again. Williams. They'll set up the screen to Herbert. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 15. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And there's a good opportunity to just run a ride there, a drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Looking to throw, Prescott. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. Four yards the gain and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, it's Prescott. And that would be incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. The Bears offense out there set and ready to go. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Williams, a quick throw there is incomplete. Cole Komet, the intended receiver. And it's second down. Looking to throw, Williams out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right, good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Williams now on third down. He will go down, a Cowboy sack. They overload him that time with a safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs, and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. 
So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36 yard line. It's just a 32 yard punt with no return. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 37. Prescott now. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. But how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and just, they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. Prescott on first down. Open man, right side, it's Lane. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up second down. Prescott to throw it. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. He's now just three yards shy of 197 yards receiving on the contest and a first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this is caught inside the five. Well, he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Trailing in the fourth this close of a game, that's a penalty you just can't afford. It's an absolute killer, and it's one that drives coaches and teammates insane. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. After a play like that, it should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. Dowdle will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. It's a loss of two, now third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word, put it in bold. Here we go. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. There's another example that playing football isn't strictly being physical. You've got to think as well. Nice job reading his keys by the linebacker and going out in the open space when they dumped it to the back. He was able to make the play and stop him short of the goal line. And his kick is indeed good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So that's a big one. Obviously, Charles makes it a two-score game, his third field goal of the game, able to knock it through. Yeah, not exactly free and clear yet, but as a defense, you get to play a little bit looser, don't you? Because you do now have a little bit of a margin of error, don't you? So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. The Chicago offense set to get started. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly.
Williams throwing on first down. That'll be caught. It's Scott. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. A good start there on this fourth quarter drive. They need more of what we just saw. Down a couple of scores. There's still time. All right. It's not like you know they're totally out of it, but they have to score quickly, and they're going to need some big-time plays, chunk plays, explosive plays. They need yardage on each snap. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Similar to a shooter in basketball who just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Back to throw. Williams. They'll set up the screen for Herbert. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And we're definitely getting towards the point of the game where not getting a lot of yards is secondary to keeping the clock moving. I mean, to me, that's a double win defensively. Short gain and some more time off the clock. The Bears on third down. They've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This will be third and six. That is caught. He's going to have the first down and then some. And finally marked down at the 23. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Williams throw complete here to commit. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. Now second down and a few inches. They'll look to throw again. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now the question is obvious. Do you try to kick the field goal right here knowing that you need two scores? I would be thinking about if I were on that sideline. Get the field goal now, try and get the touchdown later. Well, this crowd trying to force a false start here. Third and inches. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. That means there's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed, and we'll get a review And this being inside two minutes of play. Everything coming from up above. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And the lead is down to two. After the main field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. And able to get this out to the 25. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. Well, they can smell victory, partner. They can see it on the horizon, but certainly we're not done yet here. Defense still has three timeouts, and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to. And let's face it, the easiest way to get this done Challenge your ground game, challenge your offensive line, your tight ends, your receivers, anyone who's going to lay down a block. Don't let there be penetration because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. 
If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts, run out the clock, life will be good. But if you really want to gamble a little bit, a quick play action, quick throw, might be able to get it done. Just make sure it's not incomplete and stop the clock. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11, probably crashing the line here. He's going to get it again, just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now Prescott. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. And sensing the momentum may be changing here a little bit, Charles. Yeah, this defense is going to get off the field quickly, and their offense got them a touchdown last time they had the ball, so they should get another shot. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for Dallas. turn and the Bears take over so now the Bears down by two a little over a minute and a half remaining needing at least 40 yards you'd have to think to have a shot He'll look to throw. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete <laughs> a pass like having there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions, and that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Back to throw. Able to find Kamek. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Obviously a big first down right there. Yeah, they still got to hustle. They got to get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. But I don't think necessarily you need to spike it. But they've got to continue to move quickly. Just the one timeout remaining as they try to navigate this two-minute drill. First and ten. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Here comes second down. He's back to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him, all focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. They'll look to throw. It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down inside the 15. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and ten. Back to throw. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Gosh, given the time in the short game, would he have been better off just dropping that? Yeah, when you look at the clock, you think so. But it's hard to get a receiver to drop a football. They're trained to catch everything. And now they're going to get the timeout. A huge play. Has him in field goal range with a chance to win. Let's 
So here's Cairo Santos on the field goal try. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. His first attempt of the night here, and it's a big one. It's for the win. And his kick is right there. It's good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And I tell you, when it comes to needing a field goal in closing seconds, pressure situation, there's something to be said for having a veteran kicker trot out there. Agreed. It's so nice to have someone you can rely on, someone who you know has done it before. And this guy's as cool as they come, isn't he? And after the made field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. This one partner was fun down to the very end. They got the points late, right before the whistle. Then the ensuing kickoff. They were hoping for magic on the other side, but couldn't get that spark. Fun if you won, <laughs> and fun for us, because we got to watch it and call it. That magic that you were talking about didn't occur at the end, but what a game all the way through.